Hey everyone, welcome back to Tomination. Thanks for the likes in the previous videos, I really appreciate it. They've really been helping me with the mess of a lockdown which is happening in Sydney at the moment. We had 130,000 tests overnight and uh, very concerningly we had 466 cases of community transmission. This is the largest jump we have seen in the night. Uh, COVID case numbers continue to grow. Everybody needs to get vaccinated, stay home and start a YouTube channel. For anyone that's watched the previous videos, you'll know that I haven't been able to get it up for the past couple of weeks. But if you're new here and it's your first time, I'm talking about my screen, getting my computer screen up. The post BIOS screen on my brand new motherboard wasn't showing up due to a fried graphics card, providing nightmares, many frustrating issues for me. Well, one big frustrating issue. The graphics card which died was almost a teenager. It was on its last legs anyway. But it finally happened. I got hard disks to boot on my computer. It was excellent. It was such a relief to drop in the new graphics card and not hear any stupid error beep codes. I really love building computers and it's so much more rewarding when you can turn them on. I was able to get the Pfizer jab this week, which I'm super excited about. I got it on Wednesday, so the clock is already counting down until I can get the next jab. So, pumped for that. I think it's important to get the vaccination, not just for the short term to reduce these lockdown times, but also to stop it dead in its tracks so that we're not getting these mutations, which is how the Delta variant came about. We don't want another mutation like MRSA, which we don't really have a cure for. It's just so resistant to all the antibiotics and stuff. So we need to get on top of this as quick as we can, get vaccinated, get the numbers down, get it out of the system. We have to do it on a yearly basis, just like the flu shot. But that's enough COVID chat. Gotta focus on other things, more fun things like getting out, exploring. Last night I had some farewell drinks for one of my friends. He's going back overseas. I won't name names because he's going back to surprise his family. His sister's getting married, so I don't want my karate COVID going viral and her, her seeing it before he gets there because he's got to self-isolate before he sees his family. So virtual drinks is pretty fun. Especially when somebody has made an excellent schedule of games to play, like King's Cup, we did a scavenger hunt, had some trivia, categories, which I had fucked up. I don't know if you can still see some a drawn on mustache. One of the dares, as well as eating two handfuls of dry cereal, bit of fun. Maybe doing a, a recorded drink session with friends could be fun. Couldn't talk about fun things, just general shit chat, chit chat. So that'd be good. Gonna go outside for a nice walk today. It looks like another really good day. Although I gotta check the rules to make sure I can. Speaking of dares, when was the last time you dared somebody to do something? And what was it? Let me know. What games have you played virtually? Because I'm always on the lookout for more. I'll leave a comment below because I wanna find more. Getting my computer sorted has been the main focus for the past half a week. And now that it's all done and set up, ready to go, I'm, I'm looking forward to working on my Premiere Pro skills and really getting into the nitty gritty of video editing and all that kind of stuff, as well as continuing with projects that I've got lined up. So I've got some electronic projects that I'm gonna be working on. I've got, I'm gonna be doing some cooking. I'm gonna be diving into more Raspberry Pi stuff because I really wanna get the smart mirror happening and things building up for that. I'm also down for suggestions of things to cook and recommended recipes because there's so much good food out there and I love eating and cooking so hit me up. I'm looking forward to a cooking video that's coming out next week. Uh, I'm gonna call it Release the Crackling because it's about making the best crackling so if you like making good crackling tune in for that one. The crackling, the, the bite test. a bit of a food baby right now because I just ate a lot of pasta and garlic bread and it was bellissimo. <laughs> so tasty. Um, yeah, so that's me done. I can't even speak properly. I'm just, I'm still, I'm, I'm processing. I've got the, the pregnant brain. Yeah, it was very tasty and I made a lot. So that'll be me for the next couple of days, but 
that's all right. It's, I'm gonna work on some exercise videos this week because I, I definitely need it. I'm gonna need to burn off all the pasta that I've, I'm gonna consume over the next couple of days. So it's a win-win. Yeah. Thanks for coming by, guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Ah. Ah. <sighs> all right. <sighs>